Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Winter and welcome to episode 4 of Toe Jam and Earl. And before we get going with the gameplay, I thought I'd go ahead and show you one of the extras. Uh, as you can see, you've got controller options, show the intro again, which is the very opening um, quote-unquote cinematic that we saw in episode 1. Uh, of course, Fixed World is just like what we are currently playing, which is random, only it is routine. Everything's the same. That's the one I was talking about in episode 1 or 2, I forget at the moment, where enemy placement is the same, all the presents are the same. But you've also got this option here, Jam Out, which is... <laughs> we got six tracks here. And let's see if we can show this off pretty good. Let's do the big girl bump. You hit the little buttons, and it does different sounds. So, I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't talking there. So you hit the different buttons and it makes different sounds. Anyways, that's what that does. Let me see if I can get us out of here. But you can go through the whole soundtrack, and I don't know how the fuck to get out of here now. Well, that's not what I wanted. That's a select button. Um, anyways, you can just make these little sounds and do your own little raps. I was hoping to be able to go through all the tracks and really show off my my drumming skills on the control pad. But evidently not. Uh, so I guess I'll give you a real quick breakdown as to what does what. Here's the sound effect the square button plays. And here's X. Circle. Triangle. Uh, and the directional arrows now here is up. Of course, he said toe jam there, if you couldn't understand him. And then down. Big Earl. Left arrow. Rap. Right arrow. Jammin'. And the L1 and L2 and R1 and R2 don't do a damn thing. Oh, and, and evidently, uh, right there, I'm controlling it with the L3 thumbstick. And start does that. But I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to get out of here now. You'd think they would map a quick exit on the buttons when they... Oh, wait, here we go. Return to main menu, maybe? You'd think they would just give you something to get back to the main area besides this. Um, oh, holy shit. Evidently, you can save. Well, I wish I knew that because as I'm recording this, I have completed the playthrough and this would have been nice to know. <laughs> Which, as you get to episode 5, you'll understand why. So let's go back to the main menu and see what that does. Okay, that's no good. Alright, well, uh, anyways, that showed off what I was wanting to show off. You've already seen this in the introduction to episode... Two? Yes, episode two. So I guess we'll go ahead and dig into the gameplay. Um, yeah, so enjoy episode um, four of Toe Jam and Earl. Here you go. Well, now that I've shown off my funky dance moves, let's get back to it. We've got a ship piece on this level, and we're starting damn near in the center, so that could be anywhere. But let's go right, and see if we can't find it across the way. So let's talk about sequels. They made two sequels to this game, 
Uh, Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron was the second one. And I believe the third one was just called... Oh, holy shit, look at that. I believe the third one was just called Toe Jam and Earl 3. Jammin'. Not jammin', but I'm, I was just reading what he was saying. But, um... I never played that one. That was an Xbox exclusive, if I recall. It may be available for PC or even via emulation of sorts now. I can't say. I don't know. Son of a bitch. I was hoping to clear that little gap by falling there. Uh, but Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron, I did play. I used to own that one because I was a massive fan of this one. So, of course, I had to pick it up, and it was super cheap back in the day. It was only like, well, I can't pick that present up. It was only like $5 at Funko, which I don't know if, if anybody in North America, if that may just be a regional thing, but Funko, where I live, you could get a whole bunch of Genesis and Super Nintendo and NES and Game Gear, Game Boy, all that shit way back in the day for really cheap. You just never got it with the box and the instruction manual. Which is a little bit odd to me. I don't understand why people keep the game, but not the box. That never has really made sense to me. But evidently a lot of people do it. I kept everything, man. And I tell you, I, I really wish that I had my Genesis collection. I wish it hadn't got ripped off years ago, because I would have a lot of fucking games and packaging that's probably worth a lot of money nowadays to certain collectors. But uh, the Panic on Funkatron was drastically different. God damn it. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> oh, and with a boogeyman, shit. There we go. There's the unfall. Takes you right back to where the elevator drops you off on whatever level you were on before you fall. Um, yeah, Panic on Funkatron, though, was fairly different. There were Earthlings loose on Funkatron, and it was your responsibility to throw jars at them, like mason jars, and trap them in the jars, and then put them in some kind of vacuum that shot them off of the planet, and it, it was pretty fucking funky. <laughs> and, you know, a whole lot different from this. In fact, I don't recall ever getting any upgrades via presence. I think you just got stronger jars. But again, it has been a quite a... It's been a long time since I've played Panic on Funkatron. Hey, there we go. I think Funkatron is available on PlayStation 3. But I could be wrong. Uh, I don't remember if I saw it when I was shopping for this game or not. It, you know, it's worth checking out. It was fun. It was just uh, more of a side-scroller game than this is. You know, this is exploration and uncovering map tiles and shit like that and Funkatron was side-scrolling action. And that's not what I want from a Toe Jam and Earl game. Uh, the Xbox exclusive Toe Jam and Earl 3 seems to have been more in the tradition of this and that it was all about exploration and picking up presents and using those to your advantage and whatnot. I say seems to because, again, I don't have a uh, Xbox. So I never played it, but I did have a friend that had it and saw a gameplay once when I was over there. We were at a party. There was a little bit too much alcohol involved in it, though, for, for me to say for sure. And there's the ice cream truck. And as you can see, the motherfucker runs you over and then disappears. <laughs> Um, yeah, son of a bitch, where do I want to go? Uh, I want to try and go down, but the ice cream truck I think is actually called the phantom ice cream truck or something like that, and he just kind of appears and then disappears whenever the fuck he wants to and wherever the fuck he wants to, and he will follow you on these little narrow passageways that are currently expanding around me. And you saw the damage he did to me. Pretty lethal enemy. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. It's getting interesting. It's getting interesting. 
Oh, fuck. I got a feeling one of them's down below and one of them's up above. So let's see if we can't go down below and avoid the tornado and the ice cream truck. See, he moves fast. And you heard his horn just then. He's relentless, man. That's what they should have named him, is <laughs> the Relentless. Fuck! God damn it, walked right into it. That's alright, I picked up a present. And I got to see what's on the bottom of the level. Yeah, there's the ice cream man. Mr. Relentless. Let's see where we land. Hopefully we're close to the elevator. I want to save the unfall. We don't have very many levels left. Oh, that's good timing. That's a good spot to land. I would like to say that this is the last episode in the series, seeing as how we're going to be on level 19 again. But I, I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. You know, we got 25 levels throughout this whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to have to split this up or anything like that. I don't want to. If I could do this in four episodes, that would be fucking fantastic. So your guess is as good as mine at this point. Son of a bitch. Alright, you see that kind of transparent tile to my direct left? That's where I want to try and go. And there's an ice cream man around here. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it or not. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get something to extend over there without attracting his attention. Yes. That's what I wanted. And maybe I can get whatever is over here without... Oh, there's a pizza beneath me. Um... You know what, let's use Icarus. I'm getting kind of uncomfortable with the notion of running into an ice cream man and a mole in the same area. I love these wings, man. This is my favorite present, hands down. Absolutely the most useful one out of the whole bunch as far as I'm concerned. But again, you just have to be mindful of where you're at whenever they expire. There's elevator. So that's good to know. Oh! Oh, that was close. Alright, let's venture down this way. And see if we can't find the ship piece. Oh, and grab a burger. And get sucked up. God damn it, walked right into it again. Motherfucker. That's alright, maybe we'll get lucky and it'll drop us over a landmass. Maybe. Do it there? God damn it. Oh, we're going down again. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Oh my goodness, look at that. Well, let me grab a drink of coffee real quick. And then we'll use the unfall. Alright, let's do it. I think that's something that'll come in handy. Oh, shit. Um, if it comes between getting hit by a mole or using a present, I'm gonna use the present. The only question is, which present do I want to use? I want to use a telephone right now. That's what I want to use. That would come in handy. Oh, god damn it. Actually, spring shoes. Give us a little bit of oomph in getting away from the mole. Oh, that's a rain cloud. I don't want that. That did absolutely nothing for me. <laughs> that was a fucking waste of a telephone. God damn it. Um, but as you see, we're bouncing up and down. And if I ever get to a position, I'll really show you what these bastards can do. Oh, in fact, I can do it right here. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, um, overshot what I was aiming for, and motherfucker, look how far away I am. 
Oh, god damn it! No more unfalls either, son of a bitch! Watch this boogeyman boogie us right off the side of the, the world. Hey, that worked out. That's alright. I can live with that. I've still got high tops, so I think I may use those to find this ship piece here. Well, not the one on the next level, but whenever we get back to where we fell from. Thankfully, we're not that far away from the elevator. That's manageable. Hey, and there's a dollar. Let me hear it. Money! There we go. But yeah, I think Toe Jam and Earl 3, which I don't think actually had a name after it. I think it was just TJ and E3. If I recall correctly... I may be understanding this wrong, but if you're an Xbox owner, I believe that actually came with this game, Toe Jam and & Earl, and Toe Jam & Earl 2 Panic on Funkatron on the disc. Could be wrong on that, but that's my understanding. Oh, now there's a boogeyman up there, that's great. Hey, there's a shortcut. Nice. That's a rain cloud. I don't want that. Where am I going? I'm trying to get to the bottom right. I think that's where the ship piece may be. Hopefully I'm right on that. Here's french fries. And chickens with a tomato gun. Tomato cannon. Because you know that's every chicken's fantasy. Where am I going? I was hoping for a connector to extend right there so that we could avoid the mole because there should be a mole around here somewhere. Hey, there, that'll work. That'll do. Ah, they're gonna block me from getting that dollar. Shit. We're still sinking as we run, but we've got just enough oomph to get away from the mole. Hey, there it is. Look at that. Nice. Next to a mailbox and a dollar. Hopefully this isn't a live mailbox. No, it's not. Fuck yeah. Unfall, baby. Um, I know the mole. There's the mole. But you ain't getting me, motherfucker. Mr. Motherfucker. Where are we going? Let's see what's over here. Maybe there's a connector that'll take us right up there to the elevator. Yes, look at that shit. Awesome. Oh, shit! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man, that is not what I wanted to do. Ah, that's killer, dude. That sucks. We'll get a boombox this time. Is that a dollar up there? That is a dollar up there. Look at that. Does that kind of work to our advantage? What do I got? Three dollars? Eh, I can't buy anything with that. Oh, but look at that. I got more high tops. Fuck yeah. Oh, I got a lot of high tops. Son of a bitch. Three of them? That'll come in handy. Fuck yes. And I got good food that time. Is that Icarus wings? Let's see what that tall blue one is. Spring shoes. God damn, walked right into him. Didn't mean to do that. The lawnmower man, Job. Oh, we're gonna die here. Look at this. We got the lawnmower man, got bees, got a boogeyman. Good lord. They're ganging up on me. I 
I don't know. We just might make it this episode. Well, I don't know. We're at the 15 minute mark now. Close to. Yeah, maybe not. So I'm gonna go down and to the left. God damn it, son of a bitch. Okay, as long as nothing bumps me off the side, I'll be good. I'm tired of falling now. It's lost its novelty. Oh yeah! How do you avoid a tornado? Just like that, bitches. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Mole City, look at this shit. Ooh! That was close. That was damn close. And the cool thing is, like, as a kid, those look like stars that I would have drawn as a kid. <laughs> so, <laughs> where are we at? Starting down at the bottom, no ship piece. Let's make a run and jump here. Nice. I like it. Money. Fucking boogie, man. Boogie woogie. I don't know where we're going. God damn it, Boogeyman. Leave me the fuck alone. Look at all of them. Oh! We're gonna make it! Shit, woke up the nerds. And the ice cream truck's on our ass. We've got a Boogeyman around us. Oh my goodness. And no elevator in sight and what looks like a massive fucking level. Oh, you bastard! Oh, god damn it. Almost made it into the water. Son of a bitch. Alright, that'll work. Let's check up here, see what we got. Fucking ice cream man, lawnmower man. They're all coming for me. Don't be a dead end. Oh, it's a fucking dead end. Kiss my ass. Come on, give me a connector. Give me a connector. Shit, no. Well, I don't know what to do here. I'm in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck! God damn it! Come on. I hear a phone. Shit. There's the phone. Get the phone. Get the phone. Oh, look at that. Way down there. Very bottom of the screen. Um, let's do it. Can I get there from here? Yes, I can. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, look at that shit. Knocked into the water and then drowned instantly. Motherfucker. Ah, random world, folks. Look at that, two of them on my ass. Are you a good mailbox? Yes, you are. Um, give me the fudge Sunday. Well, actually, I better save my money. All right, how many ship pieces do we have left? We got three left, so I'll bet the next two will have one, and then... Uh, the one after that will not... Last one's always on 25, so I'll, I'm going to venture to guess here that we've got a ship piece on the next one. Oh, uh, how are we looking like on time? We're at 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll see what we can do in this level. 
Yeah, ship piece here. Fucking bees. What's this mailbox got for us? I'll bet that's a live one. Nope. Icarus wings, fuck yes. Oh, bullshit, too many. Yep. Well, at least I know there's nothing up here. Hey, and there's a shortcut. Good deal. Oh, this level's pretty generous so far with the shortcuts, huh? That's nice to see. Yeah, we'll check over here off to the immediate right. And nothing except the boogie woogie. Uh, so we'll go down and check here. Boy, that'd be some shit to run into an ice cream truck right here, huh? Elevator. That's good news. Candy cane right there in case we take a hit. What's that? Have I opened that style before? Oh, god damn, I knew that was shit was gonna happen. I could tell he, he was flanking me there. He was getting into his little strategic position. Oh, fuck. Rock in a hard place. Oh, my goodness. We're homies. Extra life, maybe? Nope, no extra life. Well, fuck, fuck, fuck. Nothing down here, so it's got to be over to our left. I'm going to venture to say it's around that body of water. You know, I would love to play this again with another player. In fact, a friend of mine and I have been talking about doing some live stream together off and on for a few months now. So I'm thinking this could be the game to do it with. In fact, I'd love to see her try and play this. <laughs> She's not much of a gamer, but she'll do a live stream every now and again, I believe, of Destiny. So it could be kind of comical for her fans to see her try and play something like this. And I'd get a kick out of it too. I know she'd probably shit a brick as soon as she tried playing this. Because <laughs> in, ter in terms of old school games, I believe all that she has played is Super Mario Bros. 3. So, you know, it could be quite funny to watch her try and play something like this. Holy shit, where is that ship piece? Um... Well, I guess I'll go back up by the elevator and see if maybe it's hidden around there. I think I would have seen it if it was up that way, though. Earlier, but... Try it again. Oh! Oh shit, this is where the bees and the boogeyman ganged up on me. Might be below me. There's a boogeyman right there. Oh, he's gonna knock me off the edge. Watch this. Okay, got away from him. Um... Well, let's check this out. I 
Oh, that's just a loop. Yeah, nothing down there. I'm wondering if it's not directly above me in the top right corner. Maybe there's an extension that will show up that'll kind of guide me through that. I want to find it quick though because we're hitting the 30 minute mark. In fact, we probably just did pass it. And nothing. Have I got a telephone? No. Let me see if I can get over there with the spring shoes. That's a hell of a distance though. No, I'm not gonna make that. Fuck, that's where I gotta go. Look at that, that's huge over there. That's gotta be where it's at. There's gotta be something that's gonna shoot out and get us over there. There's gotta be, man. There, there just has to be. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that little island. There we go. Okay. Good. Nice, nice. Oh. Expert landing. Now, as long as I can find the ship piece before I get... Hey, look at there. Before I get swept up by a tornado and dropped off the edge. That's pretty jamming. Food, 50-50. Eh, it's either gonna be good or it's gonna suck. But the good thing is now I can miss my mark with the spring shoes and we could fall down and then get back to the elevator. Oh. Ah, overshot it. I wasn't trying to, but... Eh, hopefully we'll land close and can get to the elevator easily. Fuck no, we can't. God damn it! Too many. No, that's alright. Um, what can I use here? Fudge Sunday. And the root beer. Hey, what's this up here? That's a dollar and that's a present. <gasps> and french fries. And this is how it gets you. It lures you away from your destination with goodies and then throws an ice cream truck and a fucking lawnmower man and a dentist at you. So, <laughs> yep, there's the lawnmower man. Oh, he got caught up there. Just need to go straight down, right? Yes, straight down. And hopefully I don't walk into a mole. Boogie man. Stay away. Boogie be gone. God damn it. Got I'm gonna venture to say we've got three lives left. I know for sure we've got two. Because we still have two stars, but I think you may be able to use those stars up and still have another life with whatever bar, whatever amount of bar you've got left. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully we don't find out if I'm right or not. I don't know. You know, this could go either way at this point. Not too bad in terms of distance from the elevator, so let's do this shit. I got too many again? What the fuck can I use up? I don't want to use anything just yet. We may need it, and I'm not... God, God damn it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay, um, let's use something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, high tops. I really didn't want to use these up. I was wanting to save these for a rainy day because we still got four more levels to go. 
But uh, at least when we start this next episode, we'll have them selected. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and end this one here since we are now over the 30 minute mark. My name is Winter. Thank you for watching episode 4 of Toe Jam and Earl. And hopefully, we will finish this off in the next one. Everybody, take care out there.